What's up everyone? Today we're going to be working on a minivan. So I'm gonna be showing you some tips and tricks uh, and things I do interior and exterior to kind of cut down the time it can take um, to do a minivan. Now, <clears throat> I haven't actually seen this minivan in person. I've only given a ballpark quote over the phone. So as we get into the beginning of the video, again, I wanna do a, a run through on exactly uh, the current condition of the minivan. So uh, we're gonna be heading out right now to go check it out. So minivans are always fun. I always like to give a wide range when I'm pricing it out over the phone. And this person in particular, I asked for pictures, but they were good with the ballpark price, whatever it may cost. So um, as long as they're good with the ballpark and knowing that it could range even still a little bit, if they're good with that, I'm good to go. Schedule the appointment, get it done. So we're gonna be doing a headlight restoration and a full detail. So uh, as we run through the car and look at it, I'll try to explain exactly what we're gonna do, how we're gonna handle it. Um, I got a, another guy, another detailer who uh, runs a business um, who's gonna be helping me on it and I love that structure. I haven't even talked about it, but I love bringing in other detailers that run their own business to come help me on things that I frankly don't really like doing anymore and as minivans are the case. So uh, we're gonna be doing this minivan with some help from a local detailer. Uh, shout out to him. And uh, so yeah, so let's go take a peek and see what's in store for us on this minivan. Always fun when you're dealing with minivans. Let's go. All right, this is before on the pre-sale detail. Like I told you, we're gonna do the headlights and then come take a peek at this interior. So we pulled everything out of the back. The seats back there, back there, there's a stone go seat, so they're down right now. But we pulled the middle seats out. Look at those stains. kitty that keeps coming in it. Pretty rough. Seats aren't gonna come out perfect, but they'll be better. Driver side. Take you around the back side. See, we pulled everything out. There was rubber mats. This kitty keeps coming around. Rubber mats, we're gonna pressure wash those. This is the front mat. Gonna pressure wash those, clean those up. Pull the seats out. Again, these are the stone go seats here gonna get that all cleaned up so we'll see this is the pre-sale detail so again perfection is not the key just better a lot better so we're gonna do work on this thing we're gonna do some serious work the outside's pretty faded and oxidized but again we're not going for paint correction we're just better so here we go. All right, we're gonna be talking about leather seat cleaning. Now this is a extreme example of leather cleaning uh, because these seats are so beat up. Um, and honestly, I'm gonna be taking a more aggressive approach to it because uh, the expectation from the customer was uh, little to no expectation. So. So with that, I'm gonna be taking a little bit gnarlier of an approach. Um, if, you're, if the seats aren't this bad, what you can do is take a, so this is gonna be an all-purpose cleaner, degreaser, leather cleaner. There's an argument that they're relatively the same uh, because honestly, this isn't real leather. This is clear coated vinyl. So uh, a leather conditioner kind of that argument breaks down. So if your leather's not as bad, you could spray directly on a towel and then wipe. And I'll bring you in. Actually, this method is working very well on this seat. Even, even how dirty it is. Let me show you. So there I cleaned it, there it's not, and I was just with that gentle wipe. Got the sun at my back, and now gardener, so that's fine. But let me see, there we go. So again, all that was was spraying directly on the towel and rubbing it in. Literally, hardly any agitation. And this, these seats have a lot of cracking and 
a lot of that. So, actually, this method's working so well. I'm just going to continue with it the whole way. And this this is a good tip to why to stay, why to start with the least aggressive method. Because if I would have started with the method I thought it was going to take, with this brush, that would have been way too aggressive. Now, this you have the potential to actually remove the dye. I don't know how loud that's going to be down there to remove the dye in the leather. So you have to be careful when you're going with a more aggressive approach, which is why you always want to start with the least aggressive approach, which is what I'm doing on these seats. Now working in direct sun, you don't really want to spray directly on that because this cleaner is going to run. And as it runs, it's probably going to be horrible. But as this cleaner runs, it's going to stain, which is why I went directly on the towel. Okay. Working on the inside of the car, I want to show you a different method for cleaning leather. So. One thing you never want to do, especially when you're using a strong cleaner, is start, if you're going to spray it, you never want to start spraying from the top down. You always want to go down to the top, reason being it runs and you can stain the vinyl. This is vinyl, not real leather. Same thing with here, as it runs down, you never want to spray from here down if you're going to spray the seat directly. Now. What was working with the seats on the outside is spraying the towel directly, right? And then wiping it. So let's see. So again, gonna do a test spot. Now spraying the towel and wiping like this takes freaking forever. So if you're, if you're working in the shade and not in the sun, you have a little bit more leeway to spray the whole car down. Sorry, there's a ton of noises going on. So these seats are beat. The customer's expectations are that she said her words were, I didn't even think they could get, they could come out at all. So to spray the whole seat and, and really give it time to dwell is where we're at. I'm going to shut the doors in here to try to get some less noise. Okay. So <coughs> again, spray the back to the front, back to the front. And then once it's once you have a saturated layer on the surface, then you could spray here. And then you can really spray wherever you want. <coughs> I have my dilution ratio up. again. Back of the seat to the way up. Now I'm not worried about the overspray going over the glass. <coughs> I'm not worried about any of that because this is the still working the first layer <coughs> of the interior. So the benefit to this is now I have this whole back seat dwelling ready to go. <coughs> also a good time. <coughs> Woo, let's get some ventilation. Also a good time to pre-treat the door panels and all of that. So once it's on there, you could take a stiffer bristle brush and agitate, but honestly, even with these seats, I don't, I'm not feeling comfortable with that, even though it would speed up the process. But look at that. So with the whole seat dwelling, there's already major cracks in this seat. I think they're cracks, not just dirt. Yeah, they're cracks. There's already major cracking in the seat. Again, and this was when it comes down to knowing your customer, knowing the expectations, knowing what you're gonna deliver on and having the experience of doing this a few times to be able to be able to see really the outcome of the car before it's even done so you can set proper expectations, especially something on like a beat minivan like this. This is definitely not perfection detailing. This is what you call paying the bills. So, okay. So in that, what was that, three minutes? I've explained this video. I've pretty much cleaned as clean as this seat is gonna get, or at least for the first layer. Want to make sure you start cleaning the seat belts. We're going to come back over all this with steam and get the finer, the finer cracks, the finer areas with the steam. But this is just, again, going along with that whole theme. We're working in layers. Just like you do with paint refinement, you work in layers. Interiors, working in layers. You're not going to go one to a hundred all at once because that's when you get yourself into trouble. You go too far, you burn the paint or you burn the leather. See, this is still slippery wet. What I'm actually gonna do, you never wanna let this dry. I'm gonna hit it again 
just to keep it wet, keep it dwelling, so that on my first initial step, I can really go, you know, I can make this a two-step process versus a three or five or whatever. So this being the third row seed, it's not as bad as like the, the middle two were, but and that back part's pretty much done. Again, we'll wipe this down with the leather cleaner conditioner and you can see why it's a perfect time to start letting the plastics dwell. Even over here, spraying liberally, just letting the cleaner do the work, let it dwell. Hit this seat rail down here. You know, working inside, it's not super hot out, so I don't have to, you don't want to let the cleaner dry on the surface, but you really want to give it dwell time. So that, and the benefit is, if, you, if you're working the whole section at once, you don't have to worry about this overspray and you don't have to work it in layers as well. You don't have to worry about the, the overspray, you know, from the panels getting on the seat because you're still working here anyway. And I got a couple fresh towels. <clears throat> and with the cleaner being diluted a little bit stronger, it's enabling me to not only work through it faster, but I'm not having to agitate with a brush, which is saving me time. You know, this plastic, really don't have to worry about messing it up at all. So, cup holders, again, not getting it to 100 on this first one, getting the majority of the crap. We'll come back with a light wipe down and then a dressing. So it, it, it will be a three-step process all in, but when it's done, it's gonna be perfect. I'll go hit this panel over here. Again, minivan detailing at its finest. It's this, here's the way I look at it. Kids do enough damage. It's gonna be really hard for you to do any more damage than three kids have already done on this minivan, especially it being an older minivan. I think we're, you know, again, looking at a 2002, 2003, something like that. An older minivan, a lot of miles. The paint on the outside is chipping. Not a glorious detail at all, but pays the bills. And so when you're not working on a high-end exotic or anything like that, you can be a little bit more forgiving with the cleaners and, and even dressings that you're using. Not that you want to be a hack, but that you have more leeway because the car's already been beat. So that's the, the back. Here's the initial scrub down. I pre-treated, sprayed, and then used this carpet brush. We're blowing out the interior. I'm pre-treating. When working with interiors, it's all about working in stages. So we're blowing out the interior. I'm pre-treating or pre-scrubbing the carpets to get the looser roughness after we've already vacuumed them. Um, and then we're gonna pressure wash them. We're gonna pressure wash them because that's a lot faster than extracting them um, And it's warm out so we can let them dry All right on the inside working on the carpets all-purpose cleaner f-bomb And my trusty brush that I love so much that everyone wants to bag on me for not getting carpets perfect We vacuum the surface and what I'm gonna do is I should have done over here Well, I already did this area over here, but I don't have it before See if I can angle that down even a little bit. There we go, that'll work. So we're gonna be looking at this stain right here. What I'm gonna do is saturate it pretty well with the all-purpose cleaner. This brush you need to have if you're doing interiors. It's crazy, it's cheap and it works super well. So I'm gonna work this section right here and about that size section for the whole carpet. So I'm gonna spray it pretty good. Again, first layer. One 
thing you have to remember when cleaning carpets, you're not gonna get everything. There's gonna be some stains that you're just not able to get. But that's why we work in layers. So, let's see. Now you could have the DA attachment, but this is just faster. It enables you to get in here. You don't have to have a longer attachment for it. I need a better sprayer is what I really need. So. And then, once you're done scrubbing, you can take a fresh towel, wipe it clean. What do you want me? Oh, we could start doing this, that side. And then, you have the brush? Okay, what are you doing in here? I'm using this one. Brush, yep. One towel, okay, got it. Brush it. And again, this is just gonna be the first layer. We're gonna come back over it with the steam, but check this out. Not perfect, better. Obviously you could push it that way, but, but compared to what that was, that stain is pretty much gone. And that's the first step. I'll bring you guys back through. Again, this is gonna be even under the seat. So, bring you guys back through once we're done. All right, so the gardeners are he still here. I'm pretty sure they're doing the whole neighborhood. So I wanna do this, I wanna show you this plastic. Basically, all I'm doing is squirting it down right here with APC. This thing is wrecked, but watch. So I'll do that one, let it dwell a little bit, come over to the driver's side, hit the driver's side too. That. And if you want, you could hit this carpet. Look at that glove. You could hit this carpet at the same time and agitate it with the brush. You start to see the dirt and grime just break down. Already did that seat, pre-treated it, doing the same leather methods. Those, you can start pre-treating. Again, we're gonna work in layers. So we're, this is the first initial layer to just get the crap. And then we're gonna come back with steam and wipe it and all that, but you could pre-treat all these in the first layer, and it's messy. Sometimes you get messy, it's messier before you clean it up. So I'm kind of squirting all over, not worrying about it really, because I'm not worried about it, because this is just the first layer. So watch this. Take this towel. All I'm gonna do is wipe it. Again, first layer, that simple. If you wanna hit this, where'd my brush go? I don't have my brush. You could hit this with a stip bristle brush and it'd be better, or might be a little faster, but you gotta worry about scratching plastics then. So, look, just letting the APC do the work. Again, the first layer. These, same deal. the first layer. Now, I need a new towel. My towel's too saturated. But, as you can see, we're gonna come back with steam and stuff and really tidy that up, but. So here's the method of scrubbing it. Stip bristle brush. See those look a lot better. And that's just the first layer. That's looking a lot better. A lot better. 
right, so this is where we're at kind of halfway through. Interior seats looking a lot better. Back part. Back of the seats, carpet. Again, first kind of layer down. We're gonna go through and blow everything out with a blower and then steam everything. But uh, looking better. Getting there. Seats are looking good. Making progress. Making a lot of progress. Let's go down. Back. Working on that part right now. On this side. Carpet's starting to look proper. Or freaking 04, 03, whatever this is. Seat, so all this cracking. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. All this cracking, like right here, you're not gonna fix this unless you re-dye the leather. So when you're cleaning, you wanna make sure that you're not making it worse. Um, and it gets confusing because in the cracks it looks dark and you think it's dirt, so you start chasing it. And really what it is, is just the, the dye in the leather or the vinyl has gone out. So uh, you gotta be careful when you're cleaning this stuff and you don't chase it too much. Uh, there we go, there's better. So you don't wanna chase these cracks too much because you don't wanna make the seat look worse. So it's better to tell the client that you know, you're know you not gonna be able to fix this, but you'll do your best versus go too far and then make a bigger problem. Same with like on the armrest, high touch spot. Um, you could chase this dirt a little bit more, but again, same idea. You wanna balance that, um, you know, making it worse versus better. So we're gonna blow it out, steam it. I'll bring you guys back in. All right, we're just finishing up the interior, conditioning everything. Try not to get this guy's face in the video. He's a felon. Carpet's looking good. Seats looking great for what they were. Back carpet. Cup holders. Check. Where's the seatbelt thing? There you go. How about that? Got the dirt in there where it says press. Carpet's looking good. Oh, I forgot. I wanted to do the video of the rails before but the rails are looking good seats over there looking great for what the seats were it was good we also touched up the headliner headliner looks really good back seats are looking good all in we're at three hours two guys three hours for just the interior exterior we're only gonna end up doing a wash and a spray wax but the interior is looking good interior is looking really 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 good I think we went level 10 on this interior for everyone, for them. Inside the rails, looking really good. Side of the seat, everything's dialed in. Nice, we didn't overdo it on the leather conditioner, just a nice shine. Not trying to hide anything, everything was cleaned really well before. Carpets. Still gotta put the other carpets back in, but. Flip side again, just a nice little shine. Still not gonna fix this cracking, but that's okay. Carpets are looking great. Back carpets. If you remember the before on these, it was horrible. Cup holder. Got in there all decked out. Cup holders, this is an easy spot to miss. Cup holders, looking good. Cup holders there. Door panels, and they're always important. Looking good. 